As expected, the holy month of Ramzan has been an extremely low-key affair this year, with social distancing guidelines imposed across the world, including within Asia with its large Muslim population. The region's usually large and bustling Ramzan bazaars are now a ghost of their former selves, as no one is allowed to either open shops or even step out. Here is a report. In Pakistan, the Asan during sunset is the only reprieve for residents this Ramzan. The traditional bustling market in the capital Islamabad wear a deserted look this year. Thousands of kiosks and roadside eateries frying special Ramzan snacks are all shut. Last year, this place used to be so crowded that there would be no place to stand. But this year, the bazaar looks like the site of some ancient ruins. This bazaar was a godsend for middle-class people like us. Now, we have to go to the market where shopkeepers ask for exorbitant prices, although the variety of goods is limited. Delhi. On the streets and bazaars of old Delhi, it is hard to tell that the annual month of fasting and festivities is already into its second week. The main road leading to the historic Jama Masjid Mosque, always bustling with crowds of buyers and sellers, is desolated, as all the hawkers have been told to stay home. I think this year there will be nothing. Even children will not be able to celebrate Eid. How will we buy things for them? How will we buy clothes for children when the entire business has been shut down? Kabul. Unlike in previous years, the closure of markets during Ramsan this year has inflated prices in the country, and many in the country have turned to online shopping. Malaysia. In Malaysia, most of the traditional light markets have been closed this year. Malaysian authorities have imposed a partial lockdown until mid-May. The difference between last year's bazaar, uh, last year's Ramadan and this year's Ramadan is very drastic, uh, I feel. Like, this behind me is there's supposed to be like a bazaar Ramadan, but because of COVID, we all have to like stay inside and, you know, resort to like going to restaurants and getting a lot less choices. Indonesia. In order to curb the spread of COVID-19, the Indonesian authorities have temporarily banned domestic road, air and sea travel within the country as tens of millions of people make their way home to celebrate the end of Ramadan each year. Bangladesh. In Bangladesh, strict social distancing guidelines have been issued by the government for Ramzan month. In this year 2020, what we are experiencing is something we have never seen before. This is the first time in my life I see there is no iftar market in our chalk bazaar. We are feeling very sad. Since our childhood, we have always seen the rush of the traditional iftar market here. But today, there is not a single shop open here. Traditionally, iftar is a sacred and community affair for Muslims. It is a time to feast with families and friends in large groups and to break their fast either at home or in large public spaces. But this year, COVID-19 has cast a shadow over the world's 1.9 billion Muslims as they observe the month of fasting.